Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsidaPH.com and today, it's finally happening guys. We're going to build the Shopsida PH PC Build 2018. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of this video series where I picked the parts for this build and moving forward, I'm going to continue this series with other um, upgrade for this PC. But for the meantime, I'm so excited to build this PC guys. So, for the parts, um, let's do a quick rundown. For the motherboard, I picked the MSI B450M Hortar because it fits perfectly on my budget and it's a micro ATX board and the VRM on this is actually decent. And for the processor, I chose the Ryzen 5 2600X instead of going for the R5 2400G because I feel like I'm going to benefit with the 6 cores 12 threads on this. And for the memory, I went for the G-Skill Rifgios 5 2x4 3200MHz kit. I'm not sure if it's going to uh, run at 3200MHz but I'm going to try it out using the um, BIO settings. For the power supply, I went for the Seasonic 620W fully modular with black wires because it has great reviews and it also fits perfectly within my budget. For storage, I have my Samsung 860 EVO 250GB SSD but unfortunately for this video, I'm not going to put it here on my case because it's still on my laptop. But instead, we're going to use the 2.5 inch hard drive here just to be able to install Windows, install drivers, and test the system. But after that, I'm going to upgrade it with some uh, SSDs that on my laptop. For cooling, I'm going to use the stack cooler for the Ryzen 5 2600X. And then for case fans, I have here my old Cooler Master fans and G-Skill Turbulence 2 for the memory. For the graphics card, please bear with me guys for this. I'm going to use the GeForce 9500 GT graphics card. It's super old, outdated, but um, I don't have a budget yet to get a proper GPU. So this will do for now and rest assured that I'm going to upgrade that uh, moving forward in the future. And right now, I'm hoping that this will work and at least be able to uh, game at least like a CSGO and Dota 2. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to upgrade this further uh, down the road. So what did I miss? Uh, oh yeah, the casing. So I went for the Rack Anyag Frost Tempered Glass Edition. Um, initially, I'm planning on getting the Techware Nexus M but I'm really concerned with the um, front ventilation on that case and since the Rack Anyag Frost is uh, pretty similar with the Techware Nexus M and it actually has a better uh, ventilation in front, so I went for this instead. It's a little bit cheaper at uh, around 1395 but it doesn't have included fans. Luckily, I have my old fans right here so that I'll be able to use that here on the casing. So with that being said, guys, I'm excited. I'm going to build this. So let's cue the montage, shall we?
Alright guys, after a couple of hours, I'm finally done building this system and the experience with um, building inside the Rock Anyag Pros is actually nice. Except for the um, cable management, I had a little bit of difficulties with the cable management, especially at the back. It's a little bit tight for my uh, liking and uh, as well as on the top right here and on the bottom right here. It's a little bit tight but I think I did a good job with the cable management here. The build experience is not perfect. I run into issue, for example, um, the case fans that I have here, it's from my old PC and I don't have a proper mounting screws. So as you can see, um, the screws that I use here is a, a little bit long but it'll do for now until I get uh, proper uh, case fans and yeah. But the RAM heatsink here that I installed um, fit perfectly with the motherboard and alongside with the uh, CPU cooler. So the graphics card that I used, the NVIDIA GeForce 9500 GT actually worked. So I'm, I'm very glad that it actually worked because it's from a, a node system. So until I get a proper GPU, I'm going to use this. And let me know in the comments below what you want me to um, test with this uh, old graphics card. I'm actually interested what games I can play with this. So what else? I was able to test it earlier and it actually posed and everything was uh, recognized by the BIOS. So that's very good. So moving forward, I'm going to uh, improve the or upgrade the graphics card, maybe uh, tweak the memory, and then of course install a proper aftermarket CPU cooler so that I can uh, proceed with overclocking the Ryzen 5 2600X. And um, I'm going to continue improving this system and I'm going to document everything in this series. So make sure to subscribe to get updated with regards to this. I'm excited for this guys and I'm going to test everything after this. So. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, make sure to check the full article link on the description below. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy building this. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.